I seen my son the way they did him, and I want justice for him. I want them to do something about it. A local father still haunted by his son's unsolved murder. It's been three years since the Harper Woods teacher and coach was killed. This morning, the family renewing their search for answers. Trying to get her affairs in order. There is a hearing today over the contested estate of Aretha Franklin. No one really knows what Aretha's true wishes are. The jury may look at this and say, we may enforce it in part, we may enforce it to the degree it overlaps, or we may not enforce it at all. Legal experts weigh in as jurors prepare to go over two handwritten notes from the Queen of Soul. As some like it hot, and they're going to love driving around today with the windows down, maybe cranking up the power station as temps flirt with 90. But there's a good change coming when you can expect showers and storms to return. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5 a.m. starts now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday, 10th day of July. I'm Rhonda Walker. And I'm Jason Colthorpe. Great to have you. It's going to be a nice, warm, as Ashley mentioned earlier in the 430. I hope you like it hot. I said I do. <laughs> love, it a, love it a little hot. I like it hot as well. It was a nice Sunday, but it sounds like it's going to get a little more steamy today. So yeah, we are going to crank up those temperatures today into the upper 80s. It's a warm start to the week, but we are following a few changes in the forecast. Let's start though with the air quality alert that most of us are under through today until midnight, and that includes all of our counties except for the far northwestern ones. 